Gadget Girl here on day 50, starting out from Carver's Gap, hiking to 19E. Already getting some pretty views this morning, just a little ways into the hike. Frost here and there. The man of views. But it's pretty wet in places. You can see it glistening up there ahead in the distance. It's so beautiful this morning. I greatly appreciate this opportunity to be hiking. Still some ice on these stone steps up Roan Mountain this morning. Just a beautiful day today. Made it to the intersection of Grassy Ridge Trail and Appalachian Trail. Surprisingly, Grassy Ridge is the one that goes up. The Appalachian Trail goes down. In addition to the ice, there's also a little bit of snow on the trail this morning. Not much, not a little. There's a nice campsite here at three miles in from Carver's Gap. Another nice campsite here, three and a half miles in from Carver Gap. Stan Murray shelter. It's like a pretty decent shelter, small one, but decent. There are several tent sites near this shelter. For those that like ramps, they're out in full force now. Collect a lot of them here. There's another campsite here, 4.8 miles in from Carver Gap. We're getting ready to go up a little hill.
Trail's pretty smooth right here. It is muddy in spots still, but right here it's pretty good. Wow. The ramps are much thicker here. Tons of them. Almost looks like somebody planted a field of them. I am at Yellow Mountain Gap, which is the junction of the Appalachian Trail and Bright's Trace. This is the route used by the Obermountain men to cross the mountains en route to the Revolutionary War battle at Kings Mountain. Uh, the Blue Blaze side trail leaves 0.2 miles to a barn which has been renovated to shelter Appalachian Trail hikers. Keep right at the forks in the trail and turn right onto the gravel road which leads to the shelter. And I believe that shelter has now been demolished if I'm correct. A little bit of a steep climb coming up here out of Yellow Mountain Gap. More great views, 5.8 miles out of Carver's Gap. This looks like it could be a spot to sit and have lunch. A little campsite here, not much of one, but a good lunch spot. I decided not to have lunch back there, even though it had great views, it didn't have the most wonderful place to sit. I thought I'd rather have a nice place to sit. So I found this nice rock, and for lunch I am having a pepperoni and cheese wrap, and some freeze-dried asparagus, and some electrolytes that I mixed up. Starting to climb a little hump mountain. Small camping spot here on little hump. Great views. from the top of Little Hump Mountain, or close to the top. I think there's actually a little bit more to go. Straight up ahead there. A little campsite here, eight miles into today's hike. Get several tents there actually. Pretty area. And right ahead of me is Hump Mountain. We just did Little Hump. This is, I guess, regular Hump Mountain. Here again, the trail is a mucky mess. Looks like it's drier ahead, thankfully. Just gotta pick through this section. May look a short ways off, but that's a big climb. Just a little bit more to go. big rock. There's actually still another tiny bit to go. Alright, I'm up to the next big rock. Great views. And there's still more hill. Opposite side. 
Gotta be close to the top, but there's still a little climb. I have finally reached the top. The view's great. from the back side of Hump Mountain. Rosie says the climb up and over Hump Mountain was brutal for someone with short legs. We are off of the bald area and down into the trees and an area with some steps. Some of them steeper than others. Trail has turned really rocky right here. little bit of trail was that rock jumble. Not easy going, but it looks like it smooths out up here, thankfully. There's a nice campsite here. Apparently it's right past the North Carolina border because this says we are leaving North Carolina. So I guess that state is done. I guess the, for those who aren't familiar with the Appalachian Trail and how it goes, I should explain. Um, we've been in Tennessee and North Carolina back and forth for the last, I don't know, a couple of weeks maybe, over a week anyway. Um, the trail goes back and forth between the two states. So now I guess North Carolina is completely done. Getting closer to the end of today's hike and I'm doing a little side hilling here. Right up past this big stone face. This is an interesting little slot that the trail goes through. It's a really pretty plant here. And over here, the same plant's getting ready to bloom. It's kind of in the shade there so you can't see it too well, but that's it. Wow. That is a towering cliff. There's maybe a little better view. It's hard to get a really good shot. Very nice stream right here. I've been crossing another real rocky section. A little bit more to go on it, and then hopefully it straightens it out. It's a nice campsite here, about seven tenths of a mile from 19E. I'm glad this little bridge had a handrail because the logs are really uneven. That would have been hard to stay balanced on. This must be a fairly popular camping area because there's another campsite here. There was also one off to the right, um, a little back after that first one. 
So there's several spots if you want to stay here. I just cross that little bridge following this creek. 19E is just above, so I'm almost done. All right, I have made it to 19E. So I have, I have finished my AT hike for today, but I do need to hike on down to Mountain Harbor where I'm staying tonight. Okay, I took the hiker trail entrance and it leads you past the tree house that you can rent here at Mountain Harbor. Quick little tour of Mountain Harbor here. A couple bunks upstairs. Four in this room. There's two rooms that have twin beds. Bath with shower here. This is the room where I'm staying. 